Welcome to my channel. My name is Jeff, ArizonaHotHomestead.com. Today's featured video will start now. Cutting down a shaggy juniper. One of uh, my wonderful subscribers asked about junipers, and especially the shaggy junipers. These things right here, the ones that just look like big old bushes. How the heck do you cut them down? Well, I'm not going to show you detail, but I'll show you what I did. I start off with just some regular old branch cutters. Get some good, nice long ones. Make it easier on some of the bigger branches. You can use some small ones, but those are best, I think. And then you go through and you just start cutting away. And what you're just trying to do is you're just trying to make it smaller. You're trying to get rid of the little ones before you get to the chainsaw. So that guy is a little one. This guy right here, I'm probably going to just do a chainsaw, but I'll do it down below, right about there. And then once I get the pieces all sending off to the side, kind of like what I've started, then I'll use the cutters to go through and cut them smaller so I can more easily throw them out or burn them or whatever. So I'll cut, I'll continue with the chainsaw and I'll make multiple cuts with both the cutter and the chainsaw until I get down as low to the ground as I can possibly get. When you do your chainsaw, you got to have some gas. But with your gas, you got to have this two-cycle, I use that one first, some two-cycle oil to mix with the uh, gas. Is that a little easier to see? You mix it with the gas, and then you, uh, you put it in your tank. Then you also got to have some oil. So that, uh, and that's uh, that's train oil, and so you got to put that in there to uh, make sure that that your uh, your chain's got some oil. If you don't, and your chain goes through dry, and, and you end up with uh, with difficult cuts and not smooth cuts and what have you. But uh, then once you get this thing cut down. Then when you get it cut down, you get cut down about like say. Now, what's nice about these shaggy junipers is the roots grow out. This is kind of upside down, but there's your top right there. That part's supposed to be in the ground. And you can tell most of the roots go straight out the sides. And there's not too much that go straight down and like a normal tree would. The main reason is because out here in Arizona, in the high desert, you don't get much rain. So when there is a rain, you want all that surface water. And that's why these roots are the way they are. Now, digging this out of the ground, there's a couple ways to do it. This one just happened to come out when I put in my uh, water tank. They had a backhoe, so they just dug it out. That's the super easy way. Outside that you can drill in the top of this and put some stump remover in there That will help it uh, go away. You can You can just continue to dig off to the side and continue to work your chainsaw um, Down below the ground level kind of depends on how much of it you need to have removed if you just want the stump and you can deal with the roots then just cut it surface level and, and just kind of work around that. If you need some roots removed as well, well then you're going to have to just dig a little bit more. But at least now you're down to the ground. But yeah, that's the way I removed that one tree. And I got two more trees to remove. And that's the process I'm going to use. So I forget the YouTuber who asked for the video or asked for information about how to... Uh, how to cut these shaggy junipers. Well, that's what I'd use. Some branch cutters, chainsaw, and just work your way in. And then work your way to the ground. 
and eventually you got it so cutting down shaggy junipers in Arizona Arizona Hot Homestead thanks for watching our video today hopefully you uh, had a good time you enjoyed it you laughed you cried it was entertaining you learned something hopefully you subscribed liked commented this is Arizona Hot Homestead if I don't see you there I'll see you on the web.